Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Peter's Auto Vlog. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I certainly am, as I'm here in front of the seventh generation Ford Mustang GT. Very excited to get behind the wheel of this seventh generation Mustang Coupe. So as we know, this is probably one of the first few that just arrived here at dealership. There's basically like three of them. Two of them were spoken for, but this one here is part of their dealer inventory. And uh, before we go on, guys, big thank you to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Mustang GT. Uh, thank you to Tim and all their team, and I'll put all their information in a link to their website in the description below. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2024 Mustang GT Premium. Of course, seventh generation, brand new for 2024. Completely redesigned in and out, and also with some chassis revisions. You know, this is a, still a good platform for the Mustang, but Ford has only improved it, not only exterior, but interior as well, as we'll see in a few moments. This one we have with us here is some GT, kind of a more base GT with a 401, 400 package. Uh, this one is finished off in one of my favorite Mustang colors, which is gravel blue. Looks fantastic on this new design. I really love it. Uh, there is basically three ways you can get your Mustang Porsche you got the base the caboose mustang you have this one here the gt with a v8 and of course we got the convertible we also have the brand new dark horse as well that you can get which is the most performance version of the current ford mustang now for this seventh generation mustang ford has basically done a bit of chassis revisions we got of course exterior revisions as we can see and of course the interior has been revamped completely inside now really love we'll start here with the back really love the styling of this mustang as you can see i have the key with me here it kind of detects where i am as you can see the lights gone kind of go on and off love the back of this mustang love the redesign kind of very modern kind of kind of lip spoiler integrated into the design of the tail lights and all the back here really really love the way it looks all the side lines kind of kind of widen the back a little bit but did a really good job for did an excellent job of designing all this back i love the lower back here the balance here in the back got the four exhaust tips of course this is the four mustang ut and this is equipped with the performance exhaust as well as you can see here we have the reverse tillet here on the very bottom your four exhaust and i uh, really love the way this generation looks we have the reverse camera there as well and as you can see on this angle here you can see the white kind of more of a wider butt here for the Mustang. Really love the way that kind of looks and integrates into the back. This one here is equipped with the 19 inch wheels. Basically a little really nice aluminum wheels because this one is equipped with the Brembo package or the Brembo brakes, uh, which are four piston calipers all around. Uh, but over here in the back, we got 14 inch rotors. Here we have in the front, we got 15.3 inch rotors. And if we take a look at those wheels and tires here, we got Continental Conti Pro 255 millimeter tires all around. You see beautiful wheel setup and the Brembo caliper is painted in the same grabber blue with the white lettering on the Brembo. Really fantastic what the uh, Ford has done. As you can see, we got a little bit of a horse there on the Brembo caliper, really cool design and detail that Ford did and I really love the design of this Mustang here really I think really Ford really improved it modernized it but it's still got the same classic look of the Mustang and of course we got the 5.0 let's kick it uh <laughs> Mustang if you know where that's from and uh know how old I am but here we go guys coming to the front beautiful design of the front here I really like it kind of more modernized more kind of thin looking let's see we got three elements here of lights so these are basically uh LED daytime learning lights and of course your headlights and we also got the turn signal to integrate it into this as well no fog is here in the bottom but really looks nice got a little bit more basic front spoiler here nothing crazy but this gravel looks fantastic here in the front as you can see the grills kind of kind of more like a nice shiny gloss black we got the of course we got the mustang emblem here right in the front really looks cool really works kind of that rtr if you know what i mean the look from the uh the modified Mustang from rtr kind of looks the same kind of the front here really cool i really love the way that is and over here yes we do have a functional hood scoop as you can see really looks great kind of that gloss black this is functional as well it goes into the engine to extract all that heat from that coyote v8 really really cool design to the mustang but it's still kind of you can still you know very similar to the former six uh, generation but definitely ford has improved quite a bit much in this design so checking out the trunk of this new ford mustang square we have the key here with as you can see we got open and close we got remote start and we have also a two click to open up the rear trunk now this is not going to be a huge trunk but obviously you got about 14 cubic feet of trunk space here in the back uh this this kind of goes this way you don't have a ton of space to put up say a big luggage or something like that but you have plenty of room to put enough at least a couple of uh you know carry-on luggages here easily for a weekend here in the bottom if we raise this up we got those spare tire but we do have basically an air compressor there to help you if you lose some pressure on the tire but no tire inflator repair kit but obviously this one doesn't have it you might be able to option one i don't know sometimes Ford does gives you that option for about 100 bucks it all depends give you like a like a donut for a spare but there we go not math nothing else at all guys pretty pretty good to remove such for a coupe like this i like the trunk size not bad at all of course we bring this down a little bit love the grab of blue you see we have the reverse camera right there gt batch here 
and the paint looks fantastic in the sunlight there we go so coming here to the hood of the mustang as you can see guys we love that functional hood scoop let's go ahead and raise this up thank you for for pointing us some hydraulic shocks in the assistance of the opening of the hood so here we have the five liter normally aspirated v8 engine known as the coyote engine fantastic looking engine here we have in this application 480 horsepower but this it comes with and 415 pound feet of torque now this one since it's equipped with the performance exhaust that gives you an extra six horsepower for, for a total of 486 and 418 pound feet of torque that, that exhaust gives you extra three pounds of torque uh, when you get that option but a fantastic engine now this one is made it to the 10 speed automatic transmission it does have some paddles in the in the steering wheel as well that makes it a little fun if you want to do some manual shifting but overall a fantastic power plant of course you have also the dark horse version of it which it gives you about 500 horsepower i'll put some of that information for you guys up on the screen but this one here in terms of fuel economy you're looking at about 14 15 miles per gallon in the city about 22 23 20 depending on how heavy your foot is but you're looking maybe in the lower teens 20 excuse me for your gas economy at the highway level but of course when you're doing 80 90 miles an hour plus uh, or at the speed limit that you should then you should be able to get at least 23 24 miles per gallon if you're cruising to the beach or something like that but there you go guys the power plant of this new semi generation motion not much has changed just a little bit out of, out of power and i love that twin intake is really really cool i'm sure you can, i'm sure there's a lot of modifications you can do to these gts and coyote engines all right guys let's go ahead and get to the front and uh, get inside well, let's go ahead and guys and get in and check out the interior of this new mustang can see here coming down here really really nice i can definitely tell that ford has improved all of the materials on the mustang we got a biz uh, this one here that we have with us is called the space crane la, la leather interior it's kind of a mix of black and gray but i really love it really really nice goes really nice with this grabber blue color as you can see it has very soft materials here we got some leather here as well kind of a really nice pattern to this plastic one but everything is much more softer not as hard as before of course we got a chrome handle here we got controls here for your mirrors and all that stuff window mustang on the door so here really really nice and let's love these seats are really nice side bolster really really awesome seats and you can see we got a flat bottom steering wheel as well covered in leather and of course we got your 13 and 12 inch screens here let's go guys and uh let's get inside so here we are inside of this 2020 ford mustang gt this seven generation definitely has a much much better uh interior in terms of design and the quality as well the quality has definitely gone up as you can see all the materials here, everything feels much more quality much well put together i love the uh the quality of the materials as well a bit of aluminum everything feels really tightly done really fantastic uh, job by ford has done kind of still keeps it traditional but of course the biggest change to this interior is this 12.3 and 13.4 inch screens here in the middle uh let's go ahead guys before we go on let's go ahead and turn this baby on to hit our start start button hear that fantastic coyote v8 oh yeah Ooh, that is sounds so nice let's go ahead and close the door guys because it is quite hot today here in central florida the temperature says 94 but it definitely feels a lot hotter because the humidity is about 110 percent right now but i really love this interior you can see everything light up lit up all these screens this, uh, here space uh, gray really leather is really really nice really love the contrast of the two two colors excellent job what ford has done in terms of the of the material wise and all that really feels cool and there's a lot of customization now for your interiors there's quite a bit of colors not only on exterior but also interior as well uh, we got no sunroof or anything like that. this one we do have a, a place for your sunglasses we got lights here as you can see uh really nice we got home link system as well here of course you got your mirrors and all that i'm glad the headliner is black so that way it just maintains the dirt i love that there's a little mustang logo there along with some more stitching here on the dashboard really really feels much much in terms of design and and quality the quality feels much much better here we have your galapagos as well as you can see pretty good size there for this type of coupe we have a next speaker there uh this this mustang is equipped with a base nine speaker system not the optional 12 speaker bang and all of a sudden but as you can see this is the 400 option uh, mustang we got a 10 speed automatic here we got your your electronic parking brake now if you get the performance pack you're going to get basically an electronic handbrake for those drifts that are more popular today which i love to do <laughs> but on this one here this is not our car this is a uh, one of our first now this one here as you can see it's got 22.8 miles so it's still a brand new model one of the first one or two that come in so they're doing some drives on this one people can feel it and see it uh, but really nice really love the uh now everybody i'm not crazy about all these new 
you know huge uh, digital screens especially kind of spread all over the, the dashboard I was in recently in Tampa doing a BMW event all the BMWs have the same type of digital screens basically like 12 or 13 inches for your, your instrumentation and basically 12 to 13 inches or a little more for your infotainment and all that stuff but you see all this here we got your startup button we have here your basically your Mustang this gives you kind of shows you all the modes and all the things you can do to the Mustang here on the screen traction control off hazards we have basically here uh, if you press that all you got export exhaust on which is on we got your max ac and the volume button here for your radio as well down here we have two usb outlets or connections and here we have your wireless charging pad and that does fit a pretty big phone even with a cover here's my note 23 if i'm correct whatever it is and that does fit pretty good and it's going to start charging right now we got a 12 volt connection there as well of course your 10 speed automatic couple of cup holders and here we have a little center console that you just open up here 12 volt connection there and a little more room here to put all your kind of stuff but obviously not this mustang is not meant to carry a lot of crap in here but obviously it's a pretty so good size and over here to the steering wheel really excellent feeling steering wheel of course as i mentioned flat bottom we got all controls here for remotes and settings and your cruise control and all that we got paddles here for your 10 speed automatic uh all the leg controls here basically on your side really everything's really well your fingertips it does feel a little bit tighter than the other than the last generation but uh, i really like this mustang i'm gonna guess guys i'm gonna move a little bit because this guy's cutting the grass here next to us so i don't want to get this car dirty let's go ahead and uh let's gonna move it guys a little bit here and I'm gonna just make a quick U-turn and head over on this side here, just uh but in terms of the technology for the center screens, let's go check them out. Now, of course, you got all kinds of uh, configurations you can do to the screen. I'm not gonna spend here all the configurations because we can be here now. We might do something later on a little more in depth of all the stuff that you can do here. But basically here you have your infotainment system here. You got a home button here. You got basically your stereo, uh, which sounds pretty good. This is a nice speaker radio that we have with us here. Let's hear it. Yeah, that sounds really, really good. Really, really nice sound system. And this is not the 12 uh, speaker optional bang and option. So besides the radio, of course, we got Android, Apple, Apple CarPlay. You got also Alexa, you got Pandora, all that kind of stuff you can do with all the entertainment. This could become here. We got a phone, we got settings, we got features. You can see all kinds of settings. You can do sound, out phone, all kinds of the, uh, the, it's very, very quick to the touch, which I really love. Now, if we come, for example, to the features, we got, of course, your My Mustang. You got track apps, you can do back brake performance laps from all that kind of great stuff especially for performance as i am a performance driver which i love to drive accelerate gadget we'll probably leave them on once we get to the test driving we got custom modes you can do sports sport plus uh, all the great things you can do track i'm sure you got all things you can cluster it's got ambient lighting you can do all types of second and first and secondary or as i say it's primary and secondary ambient lighting you can do on this mustang which is cool unfortunately it's data we can check that out uh we can also we have different clusters we got normal sports you can see we got track calm and also the cool things you can do a fox body from the 80s and the early 90s which really really cool i love that kind of display there but this is really cool i like the track setting as you can see like it's a little more thing but we're gonna especially leave it in sports since we're on, so gonna leave it on sport mode uh let's check our apps nope we're gonna go back to the custom mode let's leave it on sport plus that's the steering we are on sport you can do track basically drag racing and of course slippery as well uh, we're gonna put it on sport mode not on track because we're not on track we're gonna take this and kind of feel this new mustang the way it's done now, integrated into the screen we also have your ac control so here we got basically cooled in heated seats as well we also have heated steering wheel and to get into your uh, basically also you can just go ahead and do this guys you know basically adjust your fan speed all kinds of things you can do this is basically an automatic dual sony ac because now of course if we go back here to our modes we do have basically series we get the cool graphics here as you can see we got normal we have basically sports that gives you a little more sporting we have track drag strip slippery as you can see all the cool graphics and go back to custom you can do custom as well but we're going to leave it in sport that's that's the kind of channel we're going to use but not track because we're not on a track or anything like that we're going to be test driving this car but as you can see guys we are on the sport sending here on our cluster gauge here so let's go ahead guys let's go ahead for a drive and you can see guys all the great things you can do a lot a lot of adjustability and of course one of the things that i cool that i like it is that you can go back to the features go back to my mustang and we can do it some cluster stream as you can see we can do the fox body which gives you the 1980s early 90s fox body which is really cool well, a lot of story that i have with that car as well i had a good friend that had one of those uh but let's just uh, look at it guys and leave it on sports
But uh, there you go, guys. Really, really cool how this Mustang is. Really love it. Really a big improvement over the last year's model. Much more modern, much more quality to the interior. You can definitely feel it. Uh, it's a little bit plastic here as well, but that's what you expect. I mean, if Mustang if Ford did a lot of higher and stuff on his Mustang, they have to charge sixty, seventy thousand dollars for something like this. All right, but let's go ahead and head out for a test drive. Let's go ahead and check out the reverse camera first. Let's go ahead and put in our ten speed on reverse. Now, as you can see, most of the screen is done for the reverse camera. Fantastic graphics. We do have directory lenses there as well. And there's I don't know if this has i don't forget i don't think this i didn't see any uh, no we have to have such as you can see we got your four mustang there and that's cool i also included the the little uh, hood scoop there the functional hood scoop but we have rear sensors as well as you can see guys and the graphics are fantastic very let's very clear guys, and put it on really drive cool. let's go out and get to test drive this 2024 ford mustang in gt premium now this i've driven it here about half a mile so i didn't really get the drive on on a straight line but this is going to be a real first drive here on this Ford Mustang. You see the turning rate is pretty nice. Really love this system's instrumentation. As I mentioned, I'm not a huge, huge fan of all these huge screens that are manufacturers are putting all these cars nowadays, but I guess it is a feature. And if it's, I think it's more economical for them because they can just kind of just elongate a little bit better depending on the model. But uh, this is, I drove, as I mentioned, I drove, I was just in a BMW event a few months, a few days ago. All the BMWs basically have the same type of screen just all along the, their dashboard. So I guess that's something that a lot of manufacturers are adapting nowadays. But Right at the first, you know, first uh, impressions, the, the steering definitely feels very direct, really nice. That's a fantastic feeling to this thing. I really like very it. Very exciting, guys. Oh man, this thing is quite this way. Check out a bit of the curving here. All right, heading on, let's check out this curve. So I'm gonna just take it kind of flat. Wow, this thing is flat. Whoa, yeah. Wow, this thing handles good. It can just feel it. Yeah, this thing is rock solid. I mean, oof, the steering is direct. It's got good feedback, to be honest. I'm more than I'm, more than I was imagining it to be. But this thing feels good. Wow. Even at this low speeds. Even though I think the speed, I think the, the the digital speedometer is in kilometers. I didn't see that, but it, we do have the miles per hour display as well, which is a cool feature. I love this type of screen here. Kind of more, I say it was a sport, not the track version. But let's go ahead, guys, and put our auxiliary gauge just so you guys can see. If you can get a glance at those, but man, this thing feels good. This just feels solid. Uh, feels well put together. A very nice feeling. Oof, man. Wow, I'm really Ford did a good job to this Mustang. They really improved it. I can tell. I mean, I didn't have a lot of time in Mustangs, uh, but as you guys know, about a couple of years ago, it was my first time really in a Mustang. I did drive the EcoBoost, the high port, high port EcoBoost. I drove the Mustang GT. I drove the Mach One in manual and in automatic. And you can check out those videos in my former years, uh, former months before my videos. But uh, wow, this is a really cool Mustang. I really like this thing. Um, I'm not gonna floor it a ton, but let's go ahead, guys, and give it a little bit. It's the brand new car. Oh, sounds nice. Very nice. I'm not gonna throw the car, guys. It's a brand new car. It's only got 20 miles. It just came in, barely getting, barely just getting broken into. Uh, but man, this thing feels solid. I feel more to feel the car, how solid it is. The steering is definitely much more direct. I can definitely tell. Wow. Yeah, this thing is pointy. Uh, this has got to be fun on the track for sure. Uh, the brakes of course we got those fantastic brembo brakes and you can definitely feel another brand new brakes that haven't been bedded in yet or anything like that but uh wow this just feels fantastic this mustang much more sporty it definitely feels more uh, i would say more uh focus if i'm correct yeah this thing feels feels much more direct i mean it's, it's incredible how before you know i was i was you know born my era was basically the 80s and 90s for cars as an early early age uh, that's early age i feel like that's not about 40 47 right now but back in the day the musts were not known to handle you know they're pretty good enough straight line and it sounded fantastic but by no means you thought the 80s or even the 90s mustangs were, were a handling car now it's it's, a, it's impressive how much things have changed in terms of these things being now more into turn tuned into basically sports cars you know real handling cars and the v8 mustang the v8 the Toyota engine is just there to enhance that experience so if we pull you guys oof that is oh man that's orgasm sounds so good now we can put it on manual and see if we can get this on manual we're on five and just use the paddles here well, that's pretty quick we're on third 
I see a truck breaking. This might be this might be turning. Oh yeah, it's turning. Oh, he's not turning. Oh, he's turning. Wow, well, it's pretty quick. The changes. Very quick changes. Then we go back to six just to cruise. Wow, this thing feels fantastic. Now, as I mentioned, you guys, this is a brand new car that borrowed from bar to Ford. I'm not gonna floor it or be disrespectful for this car. I can just floor it to check out. But wow, this thing feels fantastic. We know this car is fast. We know this car does about what four and a half seconds to 60 and quarter mile, about 112, 30 miles an hour. This thing just feels fantastic. And it's pretty quick to respond too. Not that, I'd probably say not as fast as the BMW CF with the paddles, but it's a very quick car, you can definitely tell. I love the power, the sound engine sounds fantastic. This export, this export exhaust sounds really, really good. Wow, wow, this thing sounds so good. And, and this, I'm sitting a little higher for the for the camera, but obviously the seating position is very nice. The seats are comfortable. They have good lateral grip, as I can, I can tell. They're fantastic, and I love the color of them as well. Really like, I mean, this interior, I mean, the, the gauge looks really good, very clear, very sharp in its graphics. I really like it. I mean, all the information is there, and definitely much, much improved over the prior generation. Everything's really at your fingertips. So. Yeah. Very nice car. Very nice. Let's put it back on six here. Do we have a seventh here? No, we got ten speeds, of course. We're at a ten speed automatic, I forgot. Feels like I'm on a six speed, but wow, well, yeah, overall, first impressions, wow, this thing feels very nice. It does feel I mean obviously it's not a light car. We're looking at about thirty nine hundred pounds of Mustang. Uh, but the handling is very nice. Uh, this thing just feels taut, it feels set down on the road. Uh, the independent rear suspension is doing a good job of keeping the car settling on the road. You know, it just feels good. I mean, if you break in here in the, you know, it does, you can tell, you can tell, get it tell happy there, but if you break in a corner, but it's a little bit of a throttle off oversteer, but this thing just feels so good. Uh, this one's just refined and, uh, oh man, I hope this truck doesn't get into our lane. We are bright Mustang, so I hope it doesn't not. But yeah, this thing rides overall, for example, as just a normal road, you can definitely feel some of the bumps and the roughness of the road. This is not a quiet car, you got the exhaust going, all that stuff, but it is comfortable. The suspension is comfortable enough to be very nice and every day. And uh, we're going about 60, 100, miles, 100 kilometers, but the transmission had a good response, very good. Oh, this noise is just addicting. Wow, yeah, this thing is just awesome fantastic car yeah the mustang has just evolved into one of the best you know sports cars you can get for the money i mean that's the, they're not cheap obviously these things uh we gotta check out the sticker guys in a few moments i think it's about 50 some thousand dollars or 52 thousand uh but i'll check it out in a few moments but overall a lot of car for the money uh even though this is not the fully equipped one but even though it's not the dark horse but an overall a fantastic car we're gonna put it back on drive But uh, yeah, wow, this thing is very, very nice. We don't have any uh, basic brake cold or anything like that. No engine shut off or anything that, that I see here that you can do or that's activated or the button there's there for. No, no buttons for that at all. So we got controls for your lights here, the trunk. Uh, paddles are right on your fingertips here. Love the steering wheel. All this really feels nice at your fingertips here. Very impressed, very, very impressive as a first impression of this Mustang. Wow, really Ford really did their work and improved basically every little bit. All the touch points are feel fantastic. The, obviously the LCD light, all this digital displays look very, very nice. Stereo is excellent as well. Really, really nice maybe stereo. In the future, maybe I can get a press car. But uh, yeah, this, this is a, overall a fantastic. Very impressed with the Mustang. And of course, you give it a little bit of gas. Very nice, nice shifts, very smooth shifting for the 10-speed automatic. Obviously this car is not known for gas machine and that, but you're looking at 15, 16 in the city maybe lower if you're gonna really have fun and you're looking about lower 20s in the highway maybe up to 25 if you're really doing 70 80 and really being easy on the throttle but a fantastic car i mean this thing has just direct steering feels great fantastic 
feeling brake pedal with this Brembo's. This are about a six, seventeen hundred dollar option. Yeah, this thing just turns. Oh yeah, this is fun. Wow, very really fun this car is. Uh, leave me a comment in the section below, and let me know what you guys, what your thoughts are of this Mustang. I really like it. A very very nice car overall. I, man, this is a lot of car for the money. Good power. Obviously, I like the head of a six speed. Obviously, that'll be my choice for myself. Uh, since these cars are definitely more fun in, in a manual and i'm glad and thank you for for allowing a manual in this mustang still even though that the competition like the camaro is kind of maybe going away of course the, the challenger and the and the charger are going away as well because those are gone for for 2024 uh but let me know guys fantastic car overall in conclusion i love this color love the spec of this mustang gt excellent handling fantastic power as this coyote powerhouse always impressed me so far this was the first time i got into it fantastic rear camera super clear graphics love the steering wheel love even in the automatic i mean it's still a great daily but uh ford did a really good job ford really really good job with this car really really much more improved the interior the quality you can feel it. it's not as not as plasticky as before uh, but really really excellent that, that for this so, all right guys thanks so much for watching guys i'm gonna do a little more probably more in debris all that kind of stuff i want to get more adjusted to this stuff that now that i have a little more experience with this car and i'll bring you more in-depth review of everything more features and stuff like that once we get another model uh, but thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this review and this drive test drive of this 2024 mustang gt have a fantastic day thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this mustang have a fantastic day guys take care Bye bye